Remember that this one is the direction of the thumb, which shows me that that is north. Oh, it means this is going to be my north, and that is going to be the south pole, because my magnetic field is moving from the north, going this way, from the north to the south. So going to that direction is that. From the north, it goes to the south. Please talk to me if I made sense. I'd like to really hear from you. Talk to me if I made sense. Or I just said too many things. And like you are like, Whoo, what's going on here? Please talk to me. I'd love to hear from you. If it made sense. It's either yes or no. Yes or no. Um, is it my network? I seem not to be able to read from you. I don't know if. Okay, Zainab, you don't get the last part of the north to south. Great. Okay. Trying to wait for everyone. That's just the part that you don't get. Ah, that's actually easy. I'm not sure that you're fine. Okay, Noela, I should, ex I should explain the counter change again. Beautiful. Regan, you okay? Okay. I'd love to hear from everyone so I can see where, what I need to do. Messiah, you're fine. Amza, you're good. Okay. Um, let me try to do that explanation again. I've got two points where let's make this bigger. I'm just going to keep this because I need that. All right. So, quick one again. We said that this field comes right through, right? That's a field, which is B. We're using B to represent that. Okay. Matile, I need you to follow step by step, trying to do it again. That is the field. Uh, let me put this over. Okay. Everybody okay here? Oops. All right. When we move this now in this direction, move towards, remember we are moving the north towards the coil. What happens? What happens? This whole part here, you see there's more. This whole part, or at least I wanted to visualize this. There's more going in now because this side is now getting towards the left. So there's more. Do you see? Oh, there's more. Okay, guys, I want you to see. Let me, let me use numbers to explain the change so that you just get it. How many field lines do I have flowing here? One. One. Now, if I bring this close, so the first one, which one was going through? It was just this one, right? Now, if I bring this close, all right, I'm just bringing it close enough. Okay, do you see that what has happened here? It's now more. Oh, it's one at first, but when I bring this close, the field lines now increase. Where is it increasing towards? It is increasing towards the left. Because it is more. Uh, let's use vectors to explain. Resultant field. Let's use vectors to explain. I hope that more makes sense. Now, let me use um, vectors to explain. If I ask you for F net... And I'm saying the net increases. What are we supposed to do? We're supposed to add these two. Noela, this is where I'm going with the change. We should add these two. Wait, if I were to do this, let me use red. 
and say this is my this is my new my uh, chain do you notice that my f net becomes small because we will be subtracting i want you to quickly respond to me then wela and oratile um zainab i'm coming to your own part we are saying that as we move this to the left what happens this thing is going the f net or the the b net will increase it will be more it means we are adding something to the original one whatever we are adding must be in that direction because we want it to be more the net magnetic flux increases for that to increase they must be in the same direction does that make sense does the change make sense now for B net to increase, B and delta B must be in the same what? Direction. Let's go step by step. Noela, please respond. Oratile, please respond quickly. I need your response as fast as possible. Because I'm just going to repeat this four times. Case 31. I need a quick response. If you are lost, do let me know. Okay, Noela, makes sense. Oh, that's really good. Beautiful. Now, so, the fact that we have moved this, just by moving, ah, current is induced already. Oh, current is induced. Just by moving. Don't worry about the direction for now. Just because we moved, current is produced. But the aim, don't forget the big aim, is so that we keep, we keep the magnetic flux constant. Which means we have created, we are the one causing the change. Why? We're moving. And this is my change. What do we need to do? We need to get rid of delta B so that we go back to the original B. We want to keep the magnetic flux constant as B. We have added delta B. What do we need to do to remove delta B? We need to find a magnetic field that goes this way. And this one is called the induced magnetic field. Remember, we have induced current. Current has its own magnetic field, which is the red one. It must be in the right direction. Zainab, I'm coming for you now. If the magnetic field, oh, it is to the right. Zainab, this is your point now. Magnetic field is now this way. But it's a field. If it comes out this way, it's got to go back around the coil. And remember, it will always come out from the north because it's going right around the coil. Oh, if it's coming out, it's the north. Definitely, it must go back and it, it's now the south. If we then use our right-hand rule, magnetic field must be towards the right. Let's turn this towards the right. Ah, makes sense now. Do you see my field is towards the right, the thumb? If I put it back there to see where current, do you see where current is going? Can you see that? That current is now going, oops, where is my field? All right. Uh, but I hope you see it because I want to draw, so I'm going to move it away. You see where current is? Oh, it simply means that current is coming this way. Okay, why is it not writing? Oh no, guys, I just lost that thing. Just a second. Oh my God. Just lost my note. Oops. Okay. Hold on. My system froze and I lost that note. I was trying to get diagrams here. 1749. Could this be the note? I don't know. I pray it is. I pray
pray it is. Just one second. But are we getting there so far? Okay, my sister. All right. I'm praying that it's saved because I didn't save. All right, my heart is beating so fast. Ah, okay, the last part did not save. Not a pro, not a, not a big issue. But if we just get what I explained, I'll be fine. If we get what I explained, I'll be fine. Let me quickly redo that explanation because we just need to look at the four scenarios and then we are done with the topic. Okay, so in re-explaining, maybe it worked in your favor. In re-explaining, we said there is that magnetic field that goes, right? We're not moving yet. B, once we start moving towards, what happens? B, net increases. But if it increases, for us to increase this B, it's a vector quantity, guys, because it has magnitude and direction. For that to increase, our delta B, which is causing the increase, must be in that direction, delta B, so that this B net increases. But as that happens, current is generated here, and that current has its own magnetic field. And the magnetic field of the current is aiming to help keep this constant. What will it do? It will remove that delta B, which goes that way. So this is B induced. Now we bring our right hand rule. Since we know the direction of B now, the thumb should be pointing in that direction. Oh, it makes sense. Now, if I just place this over, you can see current there. So, current coming goes, goes this way. Current, your, your galvanometer will deflect that way because it shows current. Current would go, all right, around. Makes sense. So, current goes at the back of the coil and then comes through, comes through, comes through. Current is moving to the right. But my magnetic field, I'm using red for that magnetic field, Zainab now, we're saying it is to the right. Okay? It's coming out of the coil on the right. It means that will be my north pole and that will be the south pole. And we are done. So your magnetic field around the coil will then look like that. Okay. Uh, remember that in a solenoid, we said it is the opposite. The thumb will show the field. That's why I have this here. The thumb in a solenoid. Don't forget, I stress that again, that I'm going to need that. The thumb shows the field. And the four arms would show the direction of current. Let me take you back. The thumb will show the field, and uh, where do I have that? There we go. Check that. The thumb will show the direction of the field. It's the opposite, and the four fingers would show the direction of the current. Can I get a response now for those that were not so okay earlier on? Did it make sense? We've done two things right now. Now we know the direct. In fact, three things. We know the direction of the field. We know the direction of the current. We know which one is the north pole and which one is the south pole. Maybe let's try the second scenario and then we'll get on to see. I'd like you to predict the second scenario for me. The second scenario would be this. Let's move Okay, I've got so many pages of the first scenario. Right. Uh, do I have extra here? Because I need a lot of this. 
Okay, let me just produce more pages here. Let's look at case two. Maybe it will help us um, compare. Case two. Moving the North Pole away from the coil. Moving the North Pole away from the coil. Your responses will help me a lot, guys. Moving the North Pole away from the coil. Let's check this. All right. Remember, if we are not moving again, what do we have? We have our original magnetic field. Everybody okay with that step? Now, let's move away. Remember, we are moving the North Pole away. If we move the North Pole away, what happens to the net magnetic field here? It what? Decreases. Why? We are dragging this magnetic field away. That's the first step we do now. Oh, but because we are moving, just because we are moving, current is induced. A lot of things are happening. So I want you to follow the steps. I'll repeat. Because we move, just because we move, current is induced because of movement. When we move, the field, you see, the field, it was a lot here. Let's say this is the original. What happens? Um, okay. Let's move this top layer. So, this was what we had, right? Once we move away, what happens? The net magnetic field, what? Decreases. But the aim is to keep it constant by opposing the change. Oh, where is the change? If this one is going to decrease, my change would be in that direction. Do you see? Because we have to subtract those for us to have F net decreasing. We bring in vectors again. The current that we have produces a magnetic field. The magnetic field produced is what will oppose the change. Where will it be? To oppose, get rid of that delta B, it must be in this direction now. This is B induced. Now we use our right hand rule. Do you see current must be in that direct, uh, field must be in that direction. Zainab, do you see? Field. Oh, my field is now in that direction. How will current now be moving? How will current be moving? Remember, we want our B to be, uh, okay, this, di this diagram, I'm actually supposed to um, turn it around. Let me see if I can get one of my cameras to be on. Okay, I have a camera on. I don't know if you can see it. Let me know. Can you see that camera on? Hello, everybody. Let me know. Can you see me? Yay. Hello. Hi, everybody. This is the Crazy Physics Studio. Oh, you can see me. What am I doing now? What am I doing? Noela, what am I doing? I need us to get this quickly. What am I doing? Uh, some of you need to look for the second crazy physics. That's where you would be able to see me. Um, all right, so let's scroll down the people. Afifa, I'm not trying to dance. I'm dancing. Come on, support the teacher. Hi. Oratile? Yeah, I'm Atila. Can you imagine Afifa here? Oratile, find the other crazy physics and see me dancing. Noela, can you see me? Zainab, can you see? Um, Amot, can you see? I need Oratile, please quickly find a way. Ah, beautiful. Uh, Umul, you can't see me. 
Look for the other. If you check the contact, you'll see so many crazy physics. There's one now that I have where I have my camera on. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Try to find and let me know. Okay, it's on and off. All right. Network is slow. Okay, it's okay. That's why I really don't want. I know that using the camera now will take a lot. All right. Um, if you can see the camera, Hamza, I know you can see the camera. Make your camera big, and I want you to take screenshots. Take screenshot and send on the group. Okay, I'll tell you when to take screenshots. Okay, so we want to now use um, we want to use the right hand rule to actually get the field. So let me take this one out. My field is going that way. So my hand my hand now will be like this. Uh, I, okay, I'm going to move it down. You see where my hand is? That's my thumb. Okay, that's my thumb. I'm holding my pen, but my hand is like this so that my thumb is pointing toward the left. When my thumb points towards the left, what do you notice? My hand goes at the back of the coil because it's like this now. My hand goes to the back of the coil. All right? So my thumb is that way, okay? Remember, for, let me go back to the first scenario where we did. Where do we have? Do you see? I have that. My thumb is pointing towards the right, and I have my hand coming out and going at the back now. But this time around, what's happening? My thumb is now pointing to the left, and my hand goes at the back of the coil. Right hand rule right hand rule it means that my magnetic field always that's the north this now becomes the north of the magnetic uh, this now becomes the north of the coil and that becomes the south everything has now changed i don't know if that makes sense so my hand is going behind the coil. Okay, this diagram is not really, um, the, the coil might confuse you. Let me do this. Let's do this. My hand is now going behind that going behind. So you have your rod there. My hand is going behind. So do you see the direction of current? Going that way. Oh, so current is coming, current is coming, current is deflecting towards the left. I don't know if that makes sense. My thumb is pointing towards the left, my hand is going behind. So current is going P, right, right, comes from the right hand side and then hits the left hand side and then we have current there. So because it's going out of this way, this becomes the north, and that, that's what the examiners would ask you to identify. They will ask you to identify the movement. Is it moving towards or moving away? What is the direct, what is the pole of the magnet? All right, what is the pole of the magnetic uh, field generated? And what is the direction of current? Those are the things they are gonna ask you. I don't know if it makes sense to you, I want to switch off the camera so that the network is a bit better. But did this make sense to you now? So, first thing, original B. The coil is going to move. Are we increasing B net or decreasing B net? If we are increasing, where is the change? 
and we need to counter the change. Just note that, please note this, the be induced will always be opposite the delta B. So ask yourself, is my delta B increasing or decreasing? That's what you need to ask. Let's make it simple. We're pushing this out. Delta B, uh, B net will decrease. If B net has to decrease, it must be opposite the original B. Oh, so we need to oppose that delta. That's why it's pointing in that direction. From there, right hand rule. The thumb must point in that direction. Once you get that point in that direction, your four fingers will then show the direction of the field. Case scenario number two. Bye-bye, everybody. Camera is going off. But did that make sense to you? Talk to me quickly. Let me get a response. Did this explanation make sense? Are we getting there? Are we getting there? If it moves towards, if the north moves towards, delta, uh, sorry, B net will increase. If B net increases, it means delta B and B are in the same direction. The B induced will be opposite delta B. Oh, I think that's just beautiful. If you can get it that way. Let me, let, let me give you that note. Let me give you that note. If you can get it that way, that's just awesome. If you can get, it, get what I just said that way, it, it just makes a lot of sense. Uh, yep. 